speak on love. Because next month, we have Valentine's Day coming up. My husband and I are here working together, and what more loving place could I be than right here? And also Monday, we have Martin Luther King Day, a man of love. So, uh, Kevin, uh, Ke what's Kevin's last name? Maudie. Maudie often uses acronyms. So I said, well, I'm going to try that. Mm -hmm. So I took the word love and started with the letter L. Let. Let go and let God. How do we let go? How do I let go and let God? Well, for me, it takes daily practice. Practice in the morning by reading spiritual literature, meditating, well, praying first. Praying we, uh, we call uh, asking or making your claim. And then meditating, going to, into the silence so you listen to God. And uh, I practice to remember in the evening to thank God for the good things that have come to me during the day. And, it, and some days, you know, you feel like you have, maybe you have, think it's a bad day. But if you really search, you'll find something. Uh, I often like to see those little delicate uh, violets that we have growing in our yard. And that lifts my heart. And Emma Fox, remember when I did, I don't know how many of you were here for the refrigerator story. <laughs> if you remember that, re, 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 thank you, remember that Emma Fox reminded us that during the day around noon to say the word for the whole world, to remind everyone to know that we're all living together. So be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Continually be grateful as we allow, uh, as we align our hearts and minds and our hands and feet with divine mind, we move forward with what we know. What we are unsure of, we let go and let God know that all is in divine order. The letter O. God is omniscience, all-knowing. God is omnipresence, everywhere present. God is omnipotence, all-powerful. God is love. The letter O is a ring, a circle, never-ending, eternal. Where does it begin? Where does it end? God is eternal. Y'all remember the circle game? Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Well, when we let that circle fall apart, get up, brush ourselves off, and start all over again. How? Prayer and meditation. Practice, practice, practice. Open our minds to God and practice the presence of God. And we will discover that God truly is everywhere. From the revealing word written by Charles Fillmore, the co-founder of Unity, by affirming at one with God mind, we eventually realize the perfect mind that was in Christ Jesus. When we think of the perfect mind, we are thinking of love in all of its man manifestations. In ancient Greek culture, there were four different aspects of love. Ego, which we sometimes think of not being so good, but ego was really health, self-respect, self-love. Philia <laughs> was platonic love, or is platonic love, love of your friend. Eros, creating love, which includes romantic love, art, music, dance, and literature. Agape, spiritual love, love of the creator and creation, which is unconditional love. 
The greatest commandment that Jesus gave us was to love God with all our hearts, minds, and souls, and love our neighbor as ourselves. And remember, Emma Fox said, love your neighbor, even if that neighbor does not love you back. We are still given the commandment to love unconditionally. One, we are one with God, co-creator. The letter B, voice. When we want to express ourselves, a thought comes first, writing brings up the energy, and voicing it even brings up the energy more. That's why we want to think before we speak. We actually have a relative that he really practices thinking before speaking. And uh, they call, the, the kids call him uh, uh, satellite dad. Because his pause is so long, it's like, <laughs> you know, he's in Egypt or somewhere. And, uh, anyway. Uh, so, but you do want to think. Uh, in unity, we practice what is known as uh, denials and affirmations. And again, from Revealing Word, the, the book that was written by Charles Fillmore, a denial is the mental process of erasing from consciousness the false beliefs of the sense mind. A denial is a relinquishment, and it should not be made with too much uh, vehemence. Let us make our denials as though we are gently brushing away cobwebs. And our affirmations in a strong, bold voice with a positive attitude of mind. When we poise ourselves in divine mind, our affirmations and denial <coughs> will be made in right relation. We will know just when to let go of a thought and lay hold of another. B is for voice. The letter E, evolve eternally, forever we must grow. For the only, well, I'm not even going to say that because I was going to say the only time we don't grow is when we're married, but I'm not going to say that because we don't know. What you don't use, you lose. Use what you know. Ask God for guidance. Practice, practice, practice. I have been experiencing a lot of practicing these last two weeks, so you guys are going to be in for a thrill when you come to hear this music. A stranger in New York City was uh, wanting to get to Carnegie Hall, and he walked up to uh, Leonard Bernstein, a renowned conductor, and he said, uh, how do you get, could you tell me how I can get to Carnegie Hall? And Leonard Bernstein said, practice, practice, <laughs> practice. <laughs> to eternally evolve, we must practice the presence of God through prayer, meditation, denials and affirmations, and gratitude. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Now this comes from a little song, uh, it's uh, Devotion, uh, the name of the CD is Devotion, We Are Healing. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this word out. You can resolve to evolve, get on the spiritual path. You can resolve to evolve, give your brain a metaphysical bath. That's what I tried to do this morning. <laughs> you can resolve to evolve. Leave your many mental baggage behind. It may sound strange, but the world won't change until you rearrange your mind. It's <laughs> a cute song. I've got to get these two so you guys can see. God is love. We are made in love. And we 
are the image and likeness of God. Love yourself and love each other. L, let go and let God. O, we are one, one with that holy presence. B, voice what you want to have happen in your life. E, evolve. Whose voice are we letting evolve? God. We are letting God speak through us when we practice, practice, and practice. Now we're going to end with a little song since <clears throat> Martin Luther King is, day is coming up. My son, uh, my son. <laughs> my husband has written a children's song book with new songs for the holidays. And this one is about Martin Luther King. I'll just say the words because I'm going to get you guys moving. <coughs> Martin Luther King was a mighty, mighty man, and a mighty, mighty man was he. He was a preacher and a teacher and a man of God, and he loved you and me. Zachary, give us the... This comes from 1968. You know what was happening? I was teaching in Washington. The kids came to school singing this song. There were tanks, there were lootings, there were burnings, but they sang. Mighty, mighty king was a mighty, mighty man, and a mighty, mighty man. Thank you. 